Hey everyone, so today I'm actually going to go over pH and how pH really works. But I'm also going to go over pH and the way that it can show up on the MCAT. Uh, because on the MCAT, doing pH calculations can be a bit scary because you have your own calculator. So with that, let's get straight into it. It says, compared to a 1 liter solution that is pH 11, a 1 liter solution that is pH 3 has blank H plus ions. And then you have, you know, a certain number more, a certain number fewer, etc., etc. So um, when you see numbers on the MCAT, don't ever get intimidated. This is true for any physics problem or an, an even, an even chemistry. Uh, but the thing that you'll need to know for pH specifically is pH means negative log, and this is base 10 log, by the way, of H+. Plus, right? The concentration of H+. Plus. So whenever you have these brackets, remember that's, that means moles per liter or molarity. right? So you want to make sure you remember that because... Um, that's something you'll see a lot and people might not explain it. But with that, I also want you to know that P anything, so you know, we have pH here, right? But if you had P of anything, that basically means negative log of that anything. And you know, I'm sure you've seen this a lot because there's also a lot of other applications like pKa is basically negative log of the Ka, you know? pKb is negative log of Kb. So the point is, um, you have a lot of different applications of the A, and I want to make sure, of the P I mean, and that's why I want to make sure you understand it, because sometimes you'll see it in a context that's not pH. So with that, let's get into how to do this problem in particular. So what do I mean when I say I have a pH of 11? So intuitively, when you see this problem, you should know that pH of 11 versus pH of 3, which one is more acidic? Well, pH of 3 is more acidic, and therefore you would expect it to have more H plus ions. So you should expect it to be more, but we'll make sure we make sh we'll, like having that intuition will help us um, ensure whether or not the math we do is right or wrong. But with that being said, so if a pH of 11, uh, that's going to basically mean that you have a negative log H plus that is equal to 11. And if you now plug that in, you will get that log base 10 of H plus is equal to negative 11 if you multiply both sides by negative 1, right? And that would mean that your H plus concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 11. So knowing how to do logs is necessary for the MCAT. Similarly, if you do all the math for this, for pH of 3, and you do it, if you do the same math, you'll see that the H plus here is equal to 10 to the negative third, you know, because it's the very similar math as above. So now we figured out the H plus for the top, which is if a pH of 11, you have an H plus of 10 to negative 11. And pH of uh, 3, you'll have a pH, you'll have an H plus concentration of 10 to negative 3. And again, this is moles per liter. This is going to be moles per liter. And now we want to make sure we can do the math. So I did the math up here. And now you want to take into account the volume. So here, I told you you had a 1 liter solution of pH 11 and a 1 liter solution of pH 3. But maybe on other problem, you could have a 2 liter solution of pH 3, and you would be asked the same thing. Or maybe you can have 3 liters. So being able to multiply by the volume in the end is important. But in this case, we only have 1. So remember, when you have a pH of 3, we had a 1 liter solution. So you have to multiply by 1 liter, because this is the initial concentration we determine. Multiply by 1 liter. And now you'll get that the number of moles of H plus you have is 10 to the negative 3 moles of H plus. Now, pH 11, you do the exact same thing. Remember, pH 11 means you have 10 to the negative 11 moles per liter, but you have 1 liter of that solution because the question says so, which means you have 10 to the negative 11th moles of H plus in the pH 11 solution. So if you now put it all together, the pH 3 has 10 to the negative 3 moles per H plus as I'm showing you in the lower third right now, right? And the pH 11 has 10 to negative 11 moles of H+. Plus. And if you want to find out how many more ions are in the pH 3, because remember, intuitively, you would expect more um, H plus ions in the more acidic solution, you can divide the bigger number by the smaller number. And this is something you should be able to do that, MCAT. Dividing exponents is something you should be able to do. And um, I can make a separate video on that, but for now, I will tell you that the answer here is 10 to the negative 8. 
And that basically means there's 10 to the negative 8 more H plus in pH 3 than pH 11. And so we have basically solved this problem. It's a relatively short problem because it's a lot more mathematically based. But I wanted to show you all that having math on the MCAT can be a big deal. And, you know, doing this in your head, although once you practice, you'll get really good at it, you do need to practice. Um, and hopefully this shows you that in this case, the answer is B. Um, but you should get used to math on the MCAT because there's no calculator. You should be able to do this with no calculator. Um, and you also should be able to do this. If you want to make this really challenging, you can vary up volumes. You can vary this, or you can even vary this. And if you vary the volumes, you'll realize that there's a lot of different ways to do this problem, and it can get complicated really fast. And with that, we have ended the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Hey, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. If you want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here. Another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.